How's it going everyone and welcome to the FIFA 19 Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode. It starts here, it starts now, let's get into it. won the league, <laughs> Watford did win, Forest lost again, and Wolves drew. So we won the league, that's the end. That way we are not winning the Premier League. We've lost in our final game. How's it going everyone and welcome back to the final episode of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode. There is going to be no more episodes after this one. This is it. This this is it. I can't believe it. We've, we've reached the end. It's now or never the Champions League final. We have good news and we have bad news. Well, I don't know if you consider the first bit as good news. You probably just saw it there on the right as well. Uh, the first bit of news is the final is against Chelsea. Whether that's good news or not, I don't know. The bad news is very bad, however. We have an injury. And it's Dylan Dylan. And he's out for two months. Which means he misses this game. He misses the Champions League final. There's nothing I can do about it. It happened, the exact same thing happened in FIFA 18 as well. When the now manager of this team, Lauren Alfond, was ruled out of the Champions League final after being one of the star players of the series. It's happened to Dylan Dylan. He's going to be out for two months. And that's it for him. He's done. That, that's it. He's completely done. He's out of the Champions League final. And you've seen him for the last time. So... It means that Archie Bingham is going to get one hell of an opportunity to prove himself in the Champions League final. Unless, of course, he gets injured in one of these two games, which I'm hoping doesn't happen. By the way, in the league, we are third in the league. Everton is second and Spurs are first. Spurs are seven points ahead of us, so we can't win the league. Everton are in second. There's a good chance we could come second for the third season running, which just isn't fair anymore. Um, I will see what happens I'll see what happened after that uh, and we'll see if we've got any more injuries as well because that's the last thing I want so we lost to Everton and we beat Spears what? <laughs> like that's the wrong way around right it's okay we've got no more injuries we've got no more injuries which is all good Stefano Guillaume's not happy Fernandez is happy whatever so yes I want to see where we finished in the league first I believe we will have finished third on, on the back of those results uh, we did finish third in the end Spurs won the league Man City came fourth Chelsea who are in the final with us came fifth so we're going to get into this oh, I can't believe it I can't believe we've reached the end this is it, it it's, always, it's always weird when you reach the end of a series like this I've been doing this for near on a year this series I've been doing it for nearly a year and it all comes down to this. Where the hell is Harris? Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm on the wrong team. So, I'm not having Abu Hamad up front. Not with Fernandez. No chance. Archie Bingham is going to go there. And Bang Wang is going to go on the bench. Where's Bang Wang? Already on the bench. <laughs> uh, Cortez is also not going on the bench. Um, I am going to put... Will Hill in. I'm going to play Will Hill. I'm actually going to do it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Will Hill's going to play. That means that... One, two, th three... Th four, five, six, seven. 
Seven of the players in the starting lineup have all come from my own youth academy. Bingham didn't, Fernandez didn't, Ratchet Chogiorn didn't. Bangwang did, so did Abu Hamed, so did Wilson, so did Correa, so did Du, so did Parkey and White. They all came from my youth academy. Evans did, Juho did, Alexander and that Alexander also did. Cortez, Ursley, Golovev, Velasquez, all from my own youth academy. Shea didn't come from my youth academy. P uh, Pass did, uh, Oliveira did, Inacio didn't, and Dylan, Dylan did. So really, I only just realised this. I just thought I'd go through that. Most of my team, about six players in a 30-odd man squad, have only have been transfers. The rest have all come from my own youth academy. Stunning. But we're going to get into this game. We're going to do this. We are playing at the Volkspark Stadion. Whose stadium is that again? Is that Hamburg's? That might be Hamburg Stadium. I can't remember. But either way, it's Germany. We're heading to Germany. And we're playing Chelsea. Well, let's do this. Let's go. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name's Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Lee Dixon. So many storylines, Lee. Well, I'm so excited for the players. We see them coming out there. Excited because of what they've got ahead of them. Are they nervous? Looking at them closely in the eyes. Nerves play a big part in games like this, Derek. I'm nervous for them. Who's going to be the hero? And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. It means so much to Chelsea fans to be back in a Champions League final, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I know a few Chelsea fans myself and they're always going on about winning it in 2012 amongst other years, but they'll be trying to do the same again this year. This is how the starting lineup looks today. It does appear that they're throwing caution to the wind, Lee. I'm not so sure I'd enjoy playing in a, a system where my back four is basically left on its own. The two midfield players will try to support the forwards, but most of their job today will be defending. The four up front need to score. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Here we go then, the pressure's on. It's not two games this time, it's one. One game. I forgot to turn my face cam back on. Last time we played against Chelsea, we lost. It was the defining game, really. Well, it was almost a defining game in the Premier League title race for us. So uh, I want to get some mass revenge on them. I need to be on my toes with commentating in this game as well because there's going to be a few more highlights than normal. This is four nails. Dybala, oh, wow, that's going to go out for a corner somehow. Don't know how, but, yeah, it's going to be a corner. Let's sit up a bit more. This is Harrit. Harrit gets the ball in. Ratchet heads away. Oh, we've got a couple of players free here. Ingham's one of them. Here's Fernandez. Here's Will Hill. Now, Will Hill can't finish, so realistically, I need someone to support him. But he's going to have to go alone. And Bulka makes the save. I told you Will Hill can't finish. Comes out to Richardson. He has a crack. It's over. I don't know why I'm trying that in the Champions League final, but you know what? He is. He has the ability to do it, so uh, why not?
Bingham through to Fernandez. That's a go! Saved by Marcin Bulka. Decent effort. Uh, Bulka's actually Chelsea's best goalkeeper. I did have a little check um, before I did the... Well, after I did the uh, let's go thing with the team. I did have a little check. He is their best goalkeeper. So, um, yeah. But Chelsea did pretty much put... They have put a bloody good team out for sure. Uh, I didn't change anything about their team. Guillaume. Harris looking out wide. It's made its way to Blondo, who gets the ball in. Diogo Fernandes! Diogo Fernandes has scored and has given us the lead here in Hamburg. That's what we needed. We needed to take the advantage. We needed to get the first goal. And Diogo Fernandes has provided us, provided us with that. Blondo with the cross. Fernandes wasn't picked up by the defence. And he heads it past the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. We lead 1-0. Come on! Fernandez, Lozano. <laughs> Shot was deflected. Atuna made a very good save, though. Here's Archie Bingham. Yes. Gets onto his right foot. That's what we needed. Archie Bingham. He's still running. Has a crack! Just wide. We're having some decent chances. We really are. Archie Bingham there just ran for days. Just couldn't get the shot on target. Will Hill with the pace. Down to Harris. Down to Ujevic. He's got past his man. Tomis Ujevic with the shots. Oh, it goes across the goal. But no one was there to put it in. That's half time. We have played extremely well. We, we, deserve, we are well worth our lead. That has to be said. We are well worth our lead. After we took after we took the lead, we haven't like stopped. We haven't uh, we haven't invited pressure onto ourselves. We've just kept it going, and we've kept good possession as well, which is not how I normally play. One nil at half time. This is Dybala to Sirachi to Lozano, Benedetti in the box for Brian Fernandez. Just gets his shot blocked. By, I can't remember who it was. <laughs> Guillaume's done well. Will Hill finds Fernandez. Guillaume. Uh, Guillaume? Flipping Bingham? What am I on about? Guillaume? <laughs> anyway, Fernandez's shot is saved by Bulka. <laughs> How does that look like Guillaume? Like, in all seriousness now. What a save, though. What a shot and what a save. Ivic with the cross in. Oh, it's fallen to Blondo! The captain's done it! The captain, Thibaut Blondo! He is the captain! And he has scored and doubled our lead! Get him! He is the man that will be lifting the trophy if we win this game. And he has a goal to boot as well. Brilliant. I love that. With Dylan Dylan not in the squad. With Dylan Dylan not in the squad, I was want wanting him to score even more. Right, hopefully that didn't throw me off. I think Sandy just had a bad dream or something because I just heard the mass, mass, the most biggest scattering of paws, I think ever, just like like scratching like that. <laughs> anyway, on the on the floor downstairs. Hopefully that one hasn't put me off slightly, but um, we'll uh, we'll push on, shall we? As Lozano comes through here, and uh, Craig Burn, oh Lozano. <laughs> Tuning gets down low and, uh, yeah, makes a brilliant save in the end at his near post. I mean, he shouldn't be beaten at his near post anyway, but that's a very good save. Tuning needs to grab that. Oh, we missed it. Oh, no, he didn't miss it. <laughs> Harry it in for whoever that was. I didn't see who that was. Uh, but tuning again, saving it is near post. I think we need reinforcements. Ramon Correa, Mehdi Abu Hamed, and Joel Wilson are all on. Hugh Harris, Diogo Fernandez, and... Uh, Tomislav Ujevic have left the field that's two more originals coming on, well, Wilson's an original pretty much, he was around in the first season I think Abu Hamed was as well, but later on towards the second season sort of time Taliska through for Fernandez. oh Guillaume, what a tackle 
Wilson. I mean, that ball was to Abu Hamed. That's a good ball, actually. Abu Hamed, can he get it across? Oh, if Will Hill scored as well, that would be just the icing on the cake. Correa. To Richardson, back to Correa. It's over the bar. Oh my god, how do you say his name? Harry puts the ball in. The captain heads away. Now we can get on the counter. Bingham over the top. Oh, just stopped there by Almeida. I don't know how to say his name. I'm not even going to bother trying. But he puts it out to Harriet. And uh, the tune and grabs. We are just three minutes away plus added time from lifting that trophy. Just three minutes. This is Hervin Lozano. Oh, it's tackled by Craig Byrne. It'll be a corner for Chelsea. If they score here, it's going to be a very tense added time. That's for sure. And it's this guy, Spolashlai. I don't know how to say his name. Will Hill comes in with the challenge. He has Harris. That's, uh, that's a dangerous one. And Atuna's just going to hold on to it now. And uh, we're going to win the Champions League. There it is. There it is. We have won the Champions League. Yes. Come on. The Champions League has been won by us. Diogo Fernandes and the captain Thibaut Blondo getting the goals. Unfortunately, Dylan Dylan had to miss out on the game and will not be part of the trophy celebration, which is a massive, massive injustice. But I'll tell you what, it, it's there. After not winning the Premier League, I needed to win this. Otherwise, it would have been a complete failure. But we've done it. We've done it. I'm going to now leave you guys with the trophy celebrations. Thank you so much for watching this entire series. Uh, yeah, I will get on with all of that after the trophy celebrations. For now, enjoy. Enjoy. There it is, guys. Confirmation. Champions of the Champions League. We've done it. We've officially done it. That is it. I'm going to go through one last squad report. And then I'm going to say all thank yous. All of that kind of stuff. Because, honestly, there are so many. It's, it's almost like standing up and getting an award. There's so many thank yous to hang out. Uh, hang out? To hand out? That it's just ridiculous. So, yes. It feels like the end of an era almost. Anyway, squad report. Let's go. So here we go then, guys. This is the final squad report of the entire series. Anyway, let's start it off, shall we? Emil Hatunen, overall of 90. Bing Wendu, overall of 89. He's gone up by 2. Callum Shea, overall of 86. He's gone up by 1. Thibaut Blondo, the captain, the leader, the legend, overall of 82. Oscar Hurtado, overall of 75, he's gone up by 3. Atu Harkey, overall of 80. Craig Byrne, overall of 80. Stefano Guillaume, overall of 85, he's gone up by 1. Isaac White, overall of 87, he's gone up by 3. Ewan Alexander, overall of 82, he's gone up by 1. Max Evans, overall of 79, he's gone up by 2. 
Alexander Ratic, overall of 83. Patrick Alexander, overall of 83. Hugh Harris, overall of 92, he's gone up by two. Vinicius, Lucio, Carbello, Inacio. It's the last time I'm going to say his name, so I might as well say it properly. Overall of 90. Charles Richardson, overall of 91, he's gone up by two. Placido Paz, overall of 74, he's gone up by four. Simon Velasquez, overall of 74, he's gone up by two. Arsene Golovev, overall of 88, he's gone up by two. Benito Morales, overall of 75, he's gone up by one. Cristobal Cortez, overall of 90, he's gone up by one. Geronimo Dominguez, overall of 74, he's gone up by three. Wang Guang, overall of 77, he's gone up by two. Nicky Vieira Nan, overall of 70. Joel Wilson, overall of 85. Valentin Oriana, overall of 75, he's gone up by two. Ramon Correa, overall of 79, he's gone up by three. Tahir Ersoy, overall of 86, he's gone up by two. Oliver Juho, overall of 87, he's gone up by two. Silvio Oliveira, overall of 79, he's gone up by two. Will Hill, overall of 77. Bang Wang, overall of 89, he's gone up by three. Archie Bingham, overall of 81. Mehdi Abu Hamed, overall of 88. Dylan Dylan, overall of 83. Diogo Miguel Hoya Fernandez, overall of 92. Joaquin Dominguez, overall of 70, he's gone up by two. And the final player is Tomislav Ujevic, overall of 91, he's gone up by two. And that, guys, is it. That is the end of the series. The end of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode here on FIFA 19. <laughs> Taking the mick out of my own intro. Um, but seriously, thank you guys so much for all of the support through this series. It has been my most favourite and best series to date. It tops last year's career mode. It, it, in terms of like everything, in terms of love for the save, in terms of views, in terms of viewer interaction, in terms of everything. It is absolutely, it has been, it's probably been the best thing to happen to my channel, this series. Um, a massive, massive thank you goes out to Cutsy, who uh, whilst halfway through doing this series gave me a shout out along with all of the other YouTube, well most of the other YouTubers you'll find in my channel's page which is in the description below. Um, gave me a shout out halfway through and uh, during this series I've managed to uh, become part of an amazing community a youth squad slash career mode community and thank you to everyone who's part of that the likes of Rodolfo, Mamongu, uh, our lads, uh, JB3, Bearhams uh, I don't want to miss anyone, long live Pat back uh, oh god I don't want to miss anyone, Torin Boss you're another one and uh, yes but anyway I have I know I've missed people off there, but again, if you want to go to my channel's page, everyone on there, I give a massive thank you to. Thank you to you guys, the viewers as well. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Oh man, it's it's. this sounds so sad and soppy, I know, and you guys probably don't care <laughs> that it's soppy. You just be like, you don't have to apologise for that, and I'm not. I don't want to apologise for that because... This feels like the end of an era. It really does. This has been the one series that has just changed my channel. It has grown my it, it, my channel has grown quite a fair bit through this series. The series has been noticed. You know, it, it's it's mad. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. FIFA 20 coming soon. Uh, and yeah, a new a new Youth Academy Legend series will begin once FIFA 20 comes out. And yeah. Uh, we're going to be leaving Port Vale behind because um, exclusively, guys, it's not going to be with that. It's not going to be with Port Vale next year. The video will be out soon uh, regarding which team I'm going to be doing. But until then, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have, 
make sure to smash that like button down below subscribe if you like what you've seen and you want to see more of my content and uh, yeah hit that little bell uh, so you and you won't miss a video guys until next time thanks so much for watching peace